Cars, you gotta love them. From the ones that run on gasoline and diesel, to others that run solely on batteries and even water. But just when you thought you'd seen it all, some very creative folks hit the drawing board and go all out. From cars that were built upside down to others with two faces, here are 20 of the most unusual and weirdest cars ever made. Number 20. Upside Down Pickup Car Pickup trucks are easily one of the most useful kinds of vehicles out there. They were basically constructed with functionality in mind, which is the reason why most people who either own businesses that require them to move stuff around a lot, like market owners or farmers, or just people who, well, like to move objects around a lot, tend to own at least one of these bad boys. A comfortable, durable, and reliable enough vehicle for most, but definitely not for Collision Center and Auto Body Shop owner Rick Sullivan, who's based at Clinton in Illinois. like most unique ideas are formed, Rick got his idea of upside down truck from an accident. He was called in to help flip over a Ford F-150 that had turned the wrong way. Something about seeing the car the wrong side up sparked the idea in the head of Rick. He hired the help from one of his co-workers and they began working on the queer vehicle. It took about six months and a total of $6,000 to complete the vehicle. They built it using parts from two separate vehicles, all to make the best of both worlds. As you could probably imagine, there isn't a second that goes by when Rick drives his new, confused-looking truck on the road that people's heads don't turn after it in amazement. I mean, who wouldn't? It's a driving upside-down truck. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. That brings us to this video's strange topic. Here is a photo submitted by one of our trusted sources a few days back. In it, we see what looks like a car seemingly not from this time. Its model and build is unclear and unusual. It's also safe to assume that the car probably hovers on the ground as it has no tires built into it. What do you guys think of this? Do you think that this kind of car exists? Share your comments with the hashtag strange topic and we'll pin the ones that can best explain what is going on in this picture. With that said, let's proceed. Number 19. Two-Faced Truck Other than monster trucks and an upside-down truck, surely there couldn't be any more weird trucks out there that could only be the product of some mad scientist, right? Well, wrong. Because now we've got a truck with not one, but two faces. So you get off of bed one morning, wondering if you should get a Chevy Silverado's. Why settle for one when you could get two? But even better, why settle for one or two when you could get two in one? That was probably what was going on through the mind of Eric when he built this freak show of a car. Of course, we don't need to make too many guesses about the reasons behind the construction of this car, because Eric, the car's owner, has already spilled the beans in that one. According to him, he was searching for something that he could use to create more awareness about his shop. Nice. Thanks, nice. Basically, if it would attract more customers, then he was either buying it or making it. His original plan was to search for air balloons online that would probably hold on to a sign telling everyone to come over to his shop, but somewhere along the line he just settled with the constructing of a two-faced truck instead. Despite its appearance, you can't drive the truck from both sides, as the engine of the vehicle is located on one side of it, so don't worry about a tug of war. Number 18. The 1910 Brook Swan Car And here's a car that looks like it was built for the Queen of England herself to ride on. If you took the word classic and used it to build a vehicle, it would most likely end up looking just like this ultra-fancy four-wheeler. The Isle of Butte in Scotland. There's been little to discuss. For an automobile that's been given the catchy name Swan Car, this vehicle has been modeled to bear many striking resemblance to the bird that it is named after. The car was built using a 1910 Brook chassis so you can take premium vintage off of the checkboard. The outer part of the car was intricately modeled out of fine wood, a job which was carried out by none other than the makers of fairground rides. Around the front part of the vehicle and along the body, carvings were made which looks a lot like feathers. This ingenious design is how the radiator of the car is concealed. If you thought that was the main feature the car had that would make enough for it to earn the name of Swan Car, then think again. The car has even got a bird beak that, get this, blasts steam. That's right, just like a steam train. For all we know, this golden ornamented bird-like car might even poop out of the exhaust. Number 17. A Boeing 727 Jet Limousine 
It's official, everyone. What might just be two of the coolest things ever have been fused into one monster of a car. That's right. We've got ourselves a vehicle that looks like what would happen if a limousine and a private jet were to get married and have a kid. I'm not even kidding. This thing is just plain insane. What might even be more insane than this car is the fact that it's actually road legal. So you could own something like this, drive it on the road next to ordinary cars, intimidating everyone, and it'd be perfectly fine. What a strange world we now live in. Just like every invention, this car's birth date was recorded and it came into being in the year 2004, the year that a jet limousine became a thing outside of our imaginations. As for how the car was built, you'd probably be able to make a good guess about that just by looking at it. The jet limo was forged starting with a Boeing 727-24C, which had its wings and tail sawn off. This dismembered plane was then attached to a Mercedes-Benz bus, which explains the large round tires lifting the not-so-light vehicle. Not much is known about the strange history of this car, but it has been confirmed that the current owner of the car is a man called Limo Bob, so surprise, surprise. Number 16. Bluebird CN7 If you're a fan of race cars, then you'd love this. And it's not much of a surprise that this car would catch the fancy of the racing enthusiasts seeing as this car was built and owned by a family that had been lugging the reputation of holding both land speed and water speed records at the same time. Talk about a family of speed demons. The origin of this speedster of a car started with a man named Donald Campbell, who was the son of Sir Malcolm Campbell. He had already broken the record of fastest water speed, a feat he achieved at Lake Mead. Despite this achievement, Malcolm was anything but satisfied. He wanted to hold the record for fastest land speed as well. It was this loft ambition that led to the birth of the Bluebird in the year 1960. The engine was constructed by the Bristol Aeroplane Company and was designed to be a gas turbine engine. This would go down in history as the first successful engine of this kind ever built by the company, and not for an aircraft, but for a car. With this unlocked engine, the Bluebird could easily achieve an output of over 4,000 bhp. Despite the raw potential that this car had, it crashed at the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah and USA. Campbell survived, and that wouldn't be the last we'd see of the Bluebird. Number 15. Michelin's 10-wheel Citroen Centipede this here is a car that just screams strange and unusual at anyone passing by and noticing it. A vehicle that's almost as much as a centipede as it is a car. It's possible that the builders of the car might have had this Arthur part in mind when they were making the car, because even the painting would remind you of them. For a car with 11 tires, yeah, you heard me right, 11 freaking tires, it's no slouch when it comes to fairing the road, with specs like a mass of 10 tons and an output of 700 horsepower. So a beast of a car, but what else would you expect from a vehicle with more tires than some jets? The official name of this French Citroën was Poise Lord Rapide, which translates to fast truck. Still, it's gone by many names, some of which include the Mille Platz, the Citroën Centipede, and the Michelin Test Car. The car was first built in the year 1972 by a team of Michelin engineers, and not for the purpose of a countryside cruise, I'll give you that. For a car with so many tires, you'd probably be able to guess why the car was made, or not. Its sole purpose was for the testing and showing of tires for the company, although I can't say the same for that humongous tire at the center. Number 14. Brutus, pre-war car with aircraft engine. With a name like Brutus and an engine that was more designed for a jet than a car, it's hard not to imagine that this car is a beast of a vehicle. Just getting eye to the cockpit of the car and going for a drive would leave you smelling like you just walked through a furnace. The engine of this car has some of the most freighting specs that you could ever see in a car, especially back during the times that it was built. A BMW product engine with 550 horsepower of insane output which occurs at 1530 revolutions. So if you're looking for that car to get your dad for his birthday, maybe you should skip on this one, because this seems more like a car designed for a daredevil than a regular person. The danger levels of driving a car like this was so high that shortly after the construction of the car was finished and it had undergone the customary baptism with a bottle of champagne, the first ever driver that was chosen to ride in the car was picked because he didn't have any children. Better not to make any half orphans, right? Number 13. Diamond Mercedes SL600 
Here's what might be easily the most sparkly thing ever to drop the roads, and like that wasn't an interesting enough record for this vehicle, it's also easily one of the most expensive cars ever built. I mean, what else would you expect from a vehicle completely covered with diamonds? That's right, this Mercedes has had its entire chassis covered with about 300,000 diamonds, giving the car an estimated worth of $4.8 million. This thoroughly extravagant car was revealed in the year 2007 during an auto show at Dubai to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Mercedes-Benz SL550. So what better way to celebrate this model of the Mercedes-Benz than by having it getting studded all over with actual diamonds? To achieve this, 13 experts had to band and work together, something that took them about two weeks of non-stop working to complete. Now for those of you who might be thinking of seeing the car for yourself, I'd advise you to keep your hands to yourself. Just touching the car once would cost you $1,000, which is about the same price tag that a single scratch dealt to the car would carry. So a truly amazing car, although I definitely wouldn't recommend anyone to drive a car that's almost a third pure diamond on the road. Number 12. Electric car gets pyramid power. Now there's something in stall for all of you car enthusiasts out there, even for those of you who are more onto electric cars than you are into gasoline fueled cars. This vehicle looks like it might have been inspired by aliens than actual people, given its odd pyramid shape. Despite how it looks, this vehicle might be one of the most efficient cars on earth with it easily being more efficient than any gasoline powered car out there. It was created by inventor Greg Zanis in Sugar Grove, Illinois, and given the name Dream Car 123. The efficiency of the car is unlike anything we've ever seen in many cars. Even amongst the most well-known electric ones like the Tesla brands, the car is able to charge up enough energy to cover 240 miles of road after just three and a half hours of charge. That's practically equivalent to about $5 in electricity cost. With this consumption of power, the car is also able to hit 40 miles per hour, which is mildly impressive considering the car is a prototype driving Egyptian tomb. Powered by 80 lead acid batteries, much like a flying saucer, this car is able to make a full 360 degree turn in an instant. Zanis's goal is to create more cars like this one, which will be able to achieve four times the distance per charge and do it at 200 miles per hour. Number 11, Banana Car. Here's another strange car that was built using the Ford F-150, the big banana car. As you might guess just from hearing the name, this is one of the longest vehicles ever to haunt the road. It's not called a banana car for no reason. We can give our applause to Steve Braithwaite, who was born in the United Kingdom. He constructed the car in the year 2009 and it would prove to be one of the wheeled wonders of the world. True to its reputation as a very peculiar vehicle, the banana car has a length of approximately 22 feet and an approximate height of 10 feet and 2 inches. The build of the car is well done as well, being built on the truck chassis using reinforced steel bars and a mesh galvanized chicken wire. The body of the car was molded from fiberglass and polyurethane foam into its iconic banana shape. So if you somehow find yourself on the road when King Kong is rampaging through the city, just hope you're not in this car, otherwise it might just end up as an afternoon snack. Number 10. The Nautilus Car A fascinating car that has gone by many names according to legend. Amongst these names are the Nautilus Car and the Nemobile, but this vehicle is popularly known as the Nemo Car. This vehicle belongs to a man who goes by the name Ken Freeman, and it was designed to be a replica of the original Nemo car, which made its grand appearance in the movie The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. The car was designed by Carol Spear and took Ken Freeman nearly five years to complete its construction. The 22-foot-long vehicle was designed with the fantastic design and power of the infamous Land Rover backing every inch of it up. So if you're a fan of the Land Rover, you might as well add this one to your list of most liked cars. I think it's earned it. Serving as the main chassis on which everything else was built on is the Land Rover Fire Tender. Make your way to the front and flip open the hood of the car and you'll be staring face to, well, alloy with the Land Rover V8 engine. So this is basically the classiest and most unusual Land Rover based car that you could buy. That is, assuming you'd be able to find the car, talk less of buying it. Number 9. The 1970 Ferrari 512S Maldulo. And now we've got one for the Ferrari fans. 
Here's a Ferrari that not many of you might have heard of. Not that anyone would be able to blame you. There's only one of this kind of vehicle in the world. I'll prove it to you. I'm sure at some point you must have heard about the car concept. The Ferrari 512S Modulo, right? If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then you'd be one of, well, almost everyone watching this video right now. It is justified though that not many would even know this UFO of a car ever even existed. As a matter of fact, the car would have never driven on an actual road had it not been for a man that you might consider to be one of the biggest car enthusiasts of all time. This man is none other than James Glickenhaus. Upon discovering that such a car concept existed, he wasted no time in buying this car concept from Pininfarina. He had set a mission for himself, which was to have the car built and to drive it. Needless to say, he succeeded. Since that time, the Ferrari Modulo has made an appearance at the Villa d'Est during the 2019 Concorso d'Eleganza. Number 8. Gabian, the largest SUV in the world. What would you say if I told you there exists a truck with a lot of tires? You'd probably not think much of it, that is, until you lay your eyes on this wheeled contravance. This truck was built by Emirati Sheik, and it either looks super cool or somewhat intimidating to some of you. At a glance, one can't help but notice how similar it looks to something you'd expect to see in the military. This is because this 10-wheeled truck was built by amalgamating a military truck and a Jeep in the UAE. So yeah, that's either super cool or super intimidating. I wouldn't want to be parked close to a vehicle like that in the parking lot. Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayan, the car's owner who lives in Abu Dhabi, publicized his masterpiece on his Instagram page. Flaunting his 10-wheeled beast of a truck, he even gave it a nice nickname, Dabian. To be more specific about the two vehicles that were fused to create this 10-wheeled truck, it was Oshkosh M1075 military truck and a Jeep Wrangler. Not a bad selection of cars to use in building any kind of road-based monstrosity. Number 7. 1958 Survival Alright, let's be honest. This looks more like something you'd see in some oldie sci-fi movie than on the road. You could probably attribute the fact that such a weird car could only choose to exist during the 1950s when it seemed like the Soviets were always posing some threat to the world. So not a very great backstory, but this car has still got some interesting things going for it. Even though you'd identify this car as more of a metallic freak of nature, it was built for more noble deeds. Being constructed back during the times when driving in a car would most likely shorten your lifespan, I'd not just kill you right away with toxic gas emissions and seatbeltlessness. The car's designer was Walter C. Jerome, and it was equipped with some revolutionary safety features that you wouldn't have been able to find in any other car at the time. Some of these include, and don't laugh when I say this, but doors that stay closed during an accident. It might sound counterintuitive, but hey, the doors might as well stay closed, right? The driver's dome is more like a conical cockpit, which actually improves the safety of the driver. Should any hiccup hit the car on the road, the centralized steering wheel also improves comfort. So not a bad drive, that is, if you've got $10,000 to spare. Number 6. Amphicar Model 770 just when you thought you'd seen it all, here's a car that might as well have been designed by the Batman himself. It's a freaking car that can drive on water. True to its look, this car can also traverse the land. So it's a car that can both move on land and water. Pretty nifty, right? This kind of vehicle has actually not been such a new thing. The military have used vehicles like this in the past, but soon that went out of fashion for them, especially since they just decided to stick with speedboats, battleships, and submarines. But this car, the Model 770, was designed with you in mind. The car was constructed in the western parts of Germany and was eventually released to the United States in New York at the year 1961, where it was marketed to the masses from 1961 through 1967. Despite how cool it looked and the fact that you'd most definitely feel like you were in some sort of spy movie just by driving in it, the car didn't make great sales. It got so bad that the car was ultimately discontinued. Talk about a waste. If you could afford it, would you go for a car like this? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Dodge Power Wagon Imagine that you're minding your own business having a nice afternoon drive when your car suddenly comes bonnet to bonnet with a dinosaur of a vehicle. This monster is revered as the world's largest truck, and I've got to tell you folks, if I were to come face to face with something like that on the road, don't blame me if I wet myself. It's like this truck was designed to be the ultimate bully on the road. 
Good luck trying to overtake this car. If you thought that the sheer size of this truck was a crazy enough feature that the truck had, prepare to be amazed yet again. This truck is actually a house. That's right, you heard me correctly. You can practically live in there. It comes equipped with four bedrooms, all of which are air conditioned, a living room and a bathroom. The truck also has a motorized tailgate which drops down to become the truck's own terrace. Talk about convenience coupled with scary. I know what I want for Christmas this year. As you could probably imagine, this vehicle wouldn't come cheap. As a matter of fact, it took a billionaire by the name of Sheikh Hamad to be able to build such a monstrosity. Number 4. Pink Panther Mobile If the fictional Pink Panther was a real pink bipedal feline, I'm sure that he'd be more than happy to hop in the car and take her for a nice spin. Maybe he'd never even bring the car back because he'd like it so much. Then again, the car was designed in honor of this cartoon character that has kept us entertained for so many years. I would personally call this car a work of art. Every nook, every cranny of the vehicle was designed with this cartoon character in mind. So much so that observing the car long enough would give one the impression of the Pink Panther. Not a bad feat of construction if I do say so myself. The current owner of the car has taken great care to ensure that it's still at tip top shape with it looking as though it was built just yesterday. Despite this, the car is nowhere near road legal, with the original Swansea V5 engine, which occupies its bonnet, not even being a working engine. For those of you who could already picture yourself driving in this car, I'd really hate to break it to you, but it wouldn't be possible even if they pointed the way for you and handed you the keys. The car was auctioned away at the 4th of September to the 14th of October 2011. Number 3. The Air Car You most likely wouldn't believe it even if you saw it, but I assure you, it's real. As real as this video and the device that you're using to watch it are, we have what might be the coolest vehicle on this entire list, arguably. Let me know which one of these cars you thought was the coolest in the comment section. Like most cars that seem too good to be true or just downright unreal, the Air Car started off as nothing but a concept. Later, a group of eight specialists banded together to transform that concept model into a mathematical model, which led to the forest real prototype of the car getting built. This took a whooping 100,000 hours to accomplish. The air car was built with some impressive hardware, like a 1.6 liter BMW engine, which runs on fuel, which you can buy from any gas station. Talk about convenient. But now let's get to the main feature of this car that I know you're all interested in. It's flying capabilities. While some of you might be thinking that a flying car is logically impossible, this bad boy has already passed through several flight tests in Slovakia some of which could last for as long as 70 hours, and it did so with flying colors. The car was eventually awarded an official certificate by the Slovak Transport Authority, showing the craft's airworthiness. Number 2. Batmobile Tumbler Some of you might have probably seen this one coming. You might have heard of or seen a few Batmobiles owned by some people who either had the money or the enthusiasm to go out of their way to make something like that. but none of them even come close to this guy making this list. If you might be wondering what could have prompted the creation of this awesome looking vehicle of justice, well, we've got the Gumball 3000 to thank for that. This already infamous cross country rally, which was filled with all manner of bizarreness, both the great and not so great, was hitting its 15th year anniversary. So what better way for a rally that's well known for its supercar mayhem to celebrate this than to have a Batmobile constructed? Did I mention how bizarre this rally could be? The last time they hosted a rally, the cars which acted as the stars of the show were the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG and a Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. This time, wanting to make the occasion an even more memorable one, Team Galag decided on showing up with its very own Tumblr Batmobile. As you could imagine, it caused quite an uproar. Number 1. Cadillac Eldorado, the American Dream. And that brings us to the last entry on this list. I hope it's been one heck of a ride for you guys, or should I say one heck of a drive? If so, then do smash that like button. And if this is the kind of content that you like to see, then hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can always know whenever I upload a new video. Now let's get back to it. For the final entry on this list, we're presented with what might come across as an unremarkable corpse of a car. 
But let's take a step back to when this corpse was alive and kicking. Then you'd be looking at the longest known car on sweet planet Earth. Got a swimming pool in the back. What? It calls itself. From as far as limousines go, this 1970s Cadillac Eldorado is still easily the king of them all. This car is still the current and undisputed holder of the Guinness Book of Records as the longest car on Earth, with a ridiculous length of 30.5 meters. So maybe it might have been the ultimate way to flex those wealthy muscles. I don't see this car making much sense on an actual road, except if you somehow managed to buy the road too. That's it with this list of weird and unusual cars. Which one did you guys think was the coolest one? Also, check out some of our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. Until next time. Now.